Greetings gamers! I've been working on a new game called Incoming. Incoming is a 3D VR missile defense game. Protect your cities with a wide assortment of defenses against waves of warheads, bombers, zeppelins, and epic bosses. Wishlist today on Steam. Link is in the description. Greetings, spacefarers. Welcome to another episode of Starfield. I'm Cobalt Thorium. And in this episode, we're going to head on over to do this quest, uh, Sowing Discord. We're going to influence Arthur Cruz against Infinity Limited, influence Zola Adisa against Infinity Limited, and I think that we're also going to try to, like, swap a data pad or something. change the presentation. That might be an optional quest. Let's see how well I remember this stuff. I've got no idea. Don't go causing trouble. understand how anyone can tolerate the lights and the music for long. It's such a weird place. The music All right. is amazing. So here's somebody. So I think that there's three things we're looking for. Hey, well, let's grab this one first. So this is Zola. Let's quickly check uh, the notes. Zola. Okay. Retired CFO, Inception Technologies. So she, she's a narcissist, obsessed with public perception. Finland is cheap version of Raijin. Infinity is a follower. If he lacks clear vision. Praise quantum synergies. Okay. Appreciation for professionalism. Oh, yeah, we have to change our our clothing. Let's get out of here. So that she doesn't see. Go to the bathroom. That's what we'll do. Yeah. That's the appropriate appropriate place to change, right? Inventory. Ooh. Well, this one looks really nice, but it's only plus 5% persuasion. I think this one looks nicer than this one. But this is plus 10. All right, whatever. Do that. Take this off. Take this off. And take this off. So now we look like that. Let's review that slate one more time. Just to make sure we're not missing anything else. Uh, notes. Wait, is it notes? I guess it is. Azola. Okay, so Delilah Adisa's mother. I don't know if I'm going to remember that. Uh, it's such a... Um, not super clear name. Delilah. Imani is sister at Centauri. Narcissist obsessed with pub public relations. Professionalism, yep. Drawn towards innovation. Enjoys being part of something new. Quality is key. Strong dislikes to be associated with anything lost. Uh, infinity is bad. 
quantum synergies is good. Gotcha. Well, we'll give it a try. Someone came dressed to impress. Here on business or just out to escape? Uh, she likes business. Business, of course. She likes professionalism. I could tell from the look of that suit, you are dressed to impress. I doubt the people we are meeting will look half as good. You must have business with Ryujin. Uh, sh someone's sure to impress you if you're at the Astral Lounge. Someone's sure out to impress you if you're at the Astral Lounge. Who do you work for? We'll go with Quantum that. Quantum Synergies. I assume you have heard of us. Yes. Uh, she does she like to be flattered? Oh, jeez, I don't remember. Yeah, we'll go with, uh, of course, top leader in operating systems. Are they actually? Oh, my God. It is nice to see you are familiar with our business. <laughs> uh, someone's sure how to impress you. If you're at the Astral Lounge. Someone's sure out to impress you. I don't understand what that means. We'll go with that. Because this is implying that Ryujin is not going to come as well dressed as me. But I'm with Ryujin. So. That would be Infinity LTD. Okay. A deal with Infinity LTD. That sounds risky. We're just bringing... Uh, bring you out to a fancy setting like this really work in Infinity's favor or let me get back to you. We'll go with the persuasion. Risky, you say. By all means, enlighten me. Uh, Infinity LTD is the cheap version of Ryujin Industries. Infinity LTD cuts corners and can't, can't match Ryujin's profits. Infinity LTD is not a strong brand. I figured you'd be more into quality. Well, we only need to get four, so. This one looks. This is the safest. So we'll go with this. Cheap is a word quantum synergy should never be associated with. I believed our team had thoroughly researched infinity. But your comment gives me pause. The face leadership is constantly changing. I mean, we're, I think we're just going to keep going with the blue. Their instability was cited as a pain point, but one we could deal with as long as we maintained control of all joint projects. However, upheaval always comes with its own series of issues, delays, morale, public perception, and Drexler has yet to prove he can provide the consistency that I would prefer. Perhaps it really is more than I'm willing to undertake. A surprising conversation. And one I would never expect from someone such as yourself. What's that supposed I to mean? I suppose the old saying, never judge a book by its cover, is appropriate here. It seems I have quite a bit to reconsider now. So it looks like the pleasure aspect of my trip needs to be postponed. Thank you for the insight. You're rude. I do not like you, Zola. <laughs> someone like insane. you. As I wear, like, the fanciest outfit she's seen, supposedly. Even though I think it looks like trash, too. But, according to the lore, it's supposed to be some good, good quality duds. Keep it moving. Alright, so I actually did scout this area beforehand. And I believe that one of these booths... As the tablet. I might be wrong about that though. Hmm. It's Benjamin. Uh, 
orang That looks pretty straightforward I hope you can succeed at that before we are discovered Talk to the last gent. I think it's a gent. Hey there. That's sitting a little too close. I don't know if I want to set that close. All well. these years, and Bayou hasn't let this place slip a single notch. The man knows how to run a business. Oh shoot, I forgot to I forgot to look at his dossier. You look like quite the businessman yourself. Astral Lodge never fails to impress. Speaking of business, I'd like to talk to you. Damn it, I can't get out of it. Um. Go well, I'll do the flattery. I take that as a compliment. Coming from someone as well dressed as yourself, you either got great taste or great connections. Maybe even both. Tell me, you don't happen to work for Infinity LTD, do you? Uh, if I wanted to work in tech, I'd choose Ryujin. Can't say I do. Eh, no, I'd hate to. I'd hate for anyone to think so. Got something against Infinity? I take it. I'd love to hear your reasons why. Infinity's profits fabricated. Would not it would ruin them? I mean, blues have done us well so far. That's an awfully big claim to make. You'd have to have some inside details on their operation. However, it does match some of my own research that I've been conducting into their finances. To compare, Ryushin profits are 25.7% higher uh, quality included. So, that sounds right. Let's do it. Aren't you the resourceful one? That number tracks with the insider details I've been getting. Hmm, interesting. Look, it was nice meeting you, and I quite enjoyed our little talk. But it sounds like I need to take another look at some data before I head into this presentation of theirs. See you around, and maybe next time I'll be doing business with you. Okay. The I mean, mission should be complete. Even swap the data pad. I don't think there's anything else we could do. Um, kind of surprised that the data pad didn't get flagged as an optional objective. Sound, sorry. Right, let's go. Operations. Every smuggler I have ever worked with had a perverse affection for this place. I do not understand it. Ooh, her mouth is out of sync. That was weird. Who are you again? Operative. So nobody special. I've got my eye on you. I heard There's... about your running with Tomo. That guy will never learn. Wasn't there somebody else around here that was a mission giver? Oh. Ready to report? It's about that special project we're working on from Isalzo. 
What are you doing? Don't mention that out here. Follow me. Let's talk somewhere more private. Hmm. All right, let's talk. Well, that wasn't too bad, was it? Uh, piece of cake or socializing isn't really my thing or I hope it worked. Piece of cake. You're a natural. I'm not just saying that because I hired you. The Astral Lounge can be overwhelming for some, with all its bells and whistles. Tie that in with manipulating people who are the equivalent of their boss's boss, most junior level ops would start to show their cracks. Overall, not bad for your first high profile assignment. You even earned yourself a bonus, which Linden was more than happy to give. It is good that our restraint is appreciated. Uh, who is Linden? Don't tell me you forgot already. Our financial guru? They're brilliant with numbers. Also, if you ever want an honest opinion about anything, just ask them. They're honest to a fault, and often give their opinion on something whether you want it or not. Our bonus is common. Only as common as the flawless assignments you pull off. No one wants to clean up a mess. It takes a toll on several departments, which is why we like to promote a clean assignment. I'll put the credits to good use, or thank you for the bonus. I... I, I like the idea with this character of assuming that we sort of deserved it. And that we're not indebted in any way. We're not thanking them. If anything, they owed it to us. So we're gonna, we'll are gonna say I'll put the credits to good use. I like to recommend something fun or shiny and new. You never know when life will take a turn. Especially in this line of work. But no rest for the weary at Ryujin. We've got a decent backlog of assignments. And they just keep coming. So I hope you're still good to go. At least this next one will be a break from all the chatter. All right. Good, the less human interaction, the better. Or, but I like socializing with people. Uh, so, it comes off as whiny, so let's hear what's next on the agenda. Your next assignment is to remind the competitor of their place in the corporate food chain. Some call it retaliation, but we like to think of it as tough love. All right. Is this like the Celt Corp assignment? Uh, what did this competitor do to upset Ryujin? Uh, sounds like overkill to me. Or you're just teaching them a lesson. Or I'm ready for the details. First, I want to know about this competitor and what they did to, did to upset Ryujin. Let's just say we don't tolerate theft or smear campaigns against us. If you want to steal in this industry, you better not get caught. And if you want to tarnish our good name... You better be ready for repercussions. Is this like the Celtcorp assignment? Not quite. When you uploaded that virus onto Celtcorp's network, that was a warning intended to slow down their internal productivity. Celtcorp suffered the effects of that silently, although I guarantee they endured some serious client complaints. This assignment is about making our target look completely negligent in the public eye. All right. Uh, so you're just teaching them a lesson, or sounds like overkill to me, or am I for the details? I don't want to downplay it. I also don't want to criticize, so we'll say I'm ready for the details. Most corporations live and die by public perception. Trusted products lead to a good reputation, which leads to profits. And, like it or not, we're all here for the profits. Your assignment is to plant an ARC device. The ARC will allow us to frame our competitor for gross negligence and tank the public's perception. What is this ARC device? Or is this some kind of sabotage? Gross negligence sounds like it could get people hurt. Uh, let's make the competition pay or I'll get the job done. Info first, I want to know what an ARC device is. ARC stands for Assault, Reprogram, Corrupt. We think of it as a multi-tool of sorts. The ARC locates hard wiring and manipulates the information current being sent back and forth. Depending on the situation, it's designed to do all sorts of things, but inevitably, they all result in malfunction. So this is some sort of sabotage? You can call it what you like, but most importantly, it's your next assignment. 
Uh, gross negligence sounds like it could, get, it could get people hurt. I mean, that might be good, but at the same time, I don't want to seem weak to this character. Uh, let's make the competition pay. That's a little overzealous. So let's just say I'll get the job done. Good. All you need to do is plant the Ark on the service panel of your target. We can handle the rest from here. Do your best to make sure you aren't seen. The key is to make this look like a malfunction. And good luck. Keep it up, and you'll probably have my job soon. Oh, so we're doing this to Hope Tech? Wow, they, they haven't suffered enough already? Jeez. Um, hmm. A gala at the new Atlantis Free Star Embassy? That'd be a good way to gather intel. Alright, now I guess the question would be, do we want to go to Hope Tech at this point? So at some point we have to, there was somebody from the Trackers Guild who was after somebody at Hope Tech. I might want to get that quest out of the way first so that when we go to Hope Tech we can basically just deal with both uh, quests at once. Um, Captain's Bounty, I think this is it. Yeah. What's the Hammer Falls? Actually, I'd really like to do this one, too. Let's do this one. Um, actually, no. <laughs> I gotta stick to it. I gotta pick, pick a quest and stick to it. Or pick a path and stick to it. But speaking of that, we uh, should probably re-suit ourselves. There we go. And honestly, we don't even need to go back to the ship. We can just teleport. So where is this? I didn't even check. It's a Narian. Or Valo, rather. Okay, so we've completely surveyed this area, so we're not going to have to do that. Although there's a science outpost it looks like we've never been to. Wait, this is also at Hope Tech? Hold on. Missions. Hala Fahim has a tracker that's been sent after her in the pit stop. Volunteered to... Oh! Is the pit stop like a bar or something? Okay, well that's something that we we also have to do at Hope Tech. So maybe we, we will go talk to Bridget McDougal. So where is this? Really? These are all in Hope Town. Alright. That seems like the place to go. We've at least three things going on here. Smugglers always like to use Hope Tech ships to resemble legitimate transports. I wonder how the company feels about that. Howdy. So that's the Rangers. Yes. Best defense. I don't want to hear any complaints. A fair amount of business runs through Hope Town, and from what I understand, most of it is legal. Keep an eye on your valuables. If you can't protect your own, you don't belong here. All right. So looking around for this sh other shop that they were talking about, too. I have never liked Hope done. Tech ships. Though I suppose that is hardly the point of them.
You Bridget. He... He tried to have you killed. What the... I don't understand. Mr. Hope always seemed like such a good person. But everything he said about the farmers and hiring those mercenaries... It was so awful. Are you alright? <laughs> I'm just a little in shock. I'm still not sure I understand what happened. A conspiracy to steal farmland? It's just so hard to believe. It's... That's not the Ron Hope I know. People can be complicated. Or Hope is a greedy bastard. Who put on a friendly face. Where he cared about the... He cared about the people loyal to him, but nobody else. I'm gonna go with he was a greedy bastard who put on a friendly face. That is very much the impression I got from him. No, you're wrong. That's not all he was. He always looked out for us, for his employees. Um, then that's how you should remember him. Or it doesn't justify what he did. Or it's time you saw him for what he was, a monster. I'm going to go with... This is a little too heavy, I think. This one is too light, so I feel like a lot, of, a lot of this. I'm I'm doing the Goldilocks thing to, uh, in this episode, so all right, middle, middle road. No, of course not. But there was more to him than that. He had a genuinely good side, a caring side, and now he's you. You killed him. Uh. It felt good to avenge the people he hurt. <laughs> or sometimes justice is violent and ugly. Or I didn't want to kill him. I and mean, we didn't want to kill him. He was the one who attacked us. We'll go with that. Nobody should ever want that. Especially when it means killing someone who meant so much to so many people. <sighs> what happens to us now? There must be second in command, or I'm sure you'll be all right. But this is probably the end for Hope Tech. <laughs> I mean, they're probably going to have to change their name. <laughs> I kind of want to say that. <laughs> Let's go for it. The end. It can't be. Do you realize how many people depend on this company? Well, you might have to rebrand. I guess. We'll have to figure things out. Find a path forward. There are uncertain times ahead for you, but they will pass. All right, that's one down. So that was a conversation that I, I take we were supposed to have directly after the confrontation with Ron Hope. Uh, which I didn't take, so... All right, Marshall Blake. Where is that? Let's see how far away we have to... We have to go for this. So that's still here. No, that's Aquila City. Okay. So we'll put we'll put that on hold for now. We'll do something else that is here. Let's do accidents happen. Let's plant the Arctivites. We're back here already. I suppose we can go to one of those upper catwalks. seem like we can jump off of the upper catwalks. Well, 
No, I, yeah, I don't think we can. If we miss this jump, it's really going to hurt. I don't think this is the right way to do this. It seems to me like there's probably a correct path here. see any ladders or anything. I suppose I could try to climb up this. There's like a bunch of crates over here. This is where I killed Ron Hope. Well, they said to be stealthy, but we've been detected. I'm not sure who by. That guy see us? I want to just take another look at his. Okay, so they spend quite a bit of time over there. And then over here. Shoot, we got detected. go that way. We close the door. I don't know if that's going to count. We totally should be detected right now. Okay, I totally screwed this up. Um, I am not feeling particularly stealthy at the moment. Alright, uh, let's just get out of here. Can't go out that way. Um... Yeah, I have a feeling we failed this mission, but, um, oh well. Let's do, um, see, now I want, I want to tell if we got detected or not, because I don't really want failed quests in our quest log, but, uh, anyway, let's do the captain's bounty now. Uh, 
That looks like it's going to take us all the way back to our ship. Which I do not understand. Oh, it's going to take us outside. Not necessarily to the ship. So, maybe is there a bar that we didn't go to or something? Off-worlders. Nothing ever good. Well, there's the ship. So there must be Just a... keep it holstered. We'll get along fine. Did we never go in here? The pit stop. I don't think we ever been in here. Alright, let's check it out. Let's talk as to As vital folks. as spaceships are to these settled systems, everything would grind to a halt without the trade authority. All right, so you must be the trade authority. If I am not mistaken, you are new here. I hope you find Hope Town as full of opportunity as the trade authority does. <laughs> A marvelous place, truly laissez-faire. If you have any difficult cargo to unload, I'm happy to oblige. Interesting. Uh, so Hope Town's all right with you being here. Security and I have come to a very equitable arrangement, beneficial to all parties. Uh, what's the trade authority doing in Hopetown? Uh, a little of this, a little of that. Anything we can do to facilitate trade. Hmm. You mean buy contraband, or it's always nice to see the trade authority. I'm curious how much contraband goes for. And I'm wondering if this will put us down a path that's like... Makes it so that we can't do nefarious deeds with this person. But at the same time, this seems a little judgy. Let's say it's always nice to see the trade authority. Are you? I think we'll be the best of friends and business partners. So, do you need anything? Why are you set up in a bar? I've never been much for offices or a storefront. But here, people from all over the system come here. A true crossroads. Let's trade. <laughs> Shall we? I want to know what you guys have for... Uh, oh, he only buys. Oh, okay. Never mind. I want to... Hmm. Man, in here, I was hoping that we'd be able to buy some contraband. That would be fun. But it doesn't look like he's selling any. Hmm. Wow. Now that's just refined. Um. Yeah, we. Yeah, refined is less advanced than advanced, I think. I think advanced is a higher. Status. Alright. Let's not do anything with him. Let's talk to some of these other folks. <clears throat> Excuse me? Whoa. Hey. Hello. Yes. What? Okay. Okay, Hello. nothing to say. What is this side? Bart's Chili. Five alarm chili from a very large batch. Midnight special. Four egg omelet, usually made with <laughs> leftover vegetables. Okay. Flavored by Hello. late night par, uh, bar patrons. 
That doesn't sound so bad. So, so all kinds of little shot counter. My friend, I but this is neither the time nor place. Do you uh like wine? Yeah. All right, let's go. Yes, what? If you need anything, just ask for me. It's out. And how you'll pay for it. Looks like another newcomer. Welcome to the pit stop. We have a little bit of everything. What uh, brings you to Hope Town? Hope. I'm just here for business, or I was just hoping to find some work, or just refueling before the next jump. Um, if we say looking for work, he's going to send us to the terminals. But let's just in case, we'll try it. Well, I heard there's someone at the best defense looking for someone. No idea what it's about. I, I think his name is Suds. Suds. Yeah, you can't miss him. A uh, word of warning: it can get a little rowdy here. Keep your gun holstered, and there won't be any problems. Should I be worried, or I make no promises, or I have no plans of making trouble? Let's start with the question. Hardly. A lot of my patrons just got done with a shift. Throw some of the hard stuff in there. Well, fists may fly, but they're good people. So please, don't hurt them too bad. I'll go with the scary, scary one. I make no promises. Well, I uh, appreciate the honesty, at least. You need anything? We got more than booze here. Do you have Aurora? <laughs> Do a lot of visitors come through? There's almost always a few visitors here for Hope Tech. But mainly, it's all us locals trying to get by. Uh, what can you tell me about Hopetown? People like to grouse, but truth is, Hopetown's the brightest spot on this planet. Deep down, all of us are beyond grateful to Mr. This Hope. The but the workers work hard and play hard, too. So it's Although best not to drop your guard. Sad lot of dirt farmers if it weren't for him. <laughs> Ron Hope. I'm telling you, Hope Town is going places, and we're front and center. All right, heard any good rumors? There was a deep hauler said she picked up some sort of distress call in the Charybdis system. Responding to distress calls can be quite lucrative if your ship can handle itself. Heard any good rumors? No, it's been pretty boring around here. All right, I guess it's set. We have already got. We already had the Charybdis hint. So, what do you really think about Hope Tech? Most people come from hard work on the farms, and Hope Tech is light years better than that. But it could be better. Anytime people start getting upset, Hope Tech changes things. But it seems to me they're just doing the bare minimum to keep the workers happy. Um, I'm gonna try to buy a room. Um, a couple times when we rented rooms, they had magazines in them. It's a small price to pay for a permanent increase in some kind of capability, so let's go ahead and say I need a room. I got a clean room for you. Well, pretty clean. How long do you want the room for? We can afford it. Excellent. Feel free to come and go as you like. Anytime, night or day. All right, let's check it out. Um, yes. So I take it we go. Oh, there's somebody over there. It's the guy from List. You know we do more than booze, right? If you need it, we got it. Pit shops, grilled cutlets with a Looking side of toast. I meant I have everything. It's interesting that they seem to have their own little, little menu the here. Tell them Sal sent you. Let me know if you need something. Oh, hey there. How can I help you? Um, we can sell this guy some more planetary surveys. Wonderful. Let's take a look, see? Yeah, let's just go. All right. See ya. 
Now, the question is, where are the rooms? As dives go, this place ain't bad. Quickly explore it. That's one WC is that wash closet? Yeah, okay. So what's with the blood? Alright. And these don't open. One last yeah. place to check upstairs. Hi there, friend. Is this our room? It's our room. Not bad, though. Kind of cozy. This is our room. Oh, the whole place was wrecked. There was blood everywhere. I never seen so bad. Well, no magazines. Unless it was within one of the lockers in the first room, and I missed it. Oh well, 2,000 credits is like one decent gun. Alright, well, I guess that's it. <coughs> so the guy's right downstairs, but we're getting a little bit on in the episode, so I think I'm going to wrap it up here, and we'll talk to that guy in the next one. So thank you very much for joining me. I hope that you enjoyed this. And if you have, please like, maybe comment, maybe share, maybe subscribe. New episodes every day. There are worlds to conquer. At 4 p.m. Eastern Time, U.S. and Canada, I am Cobalt Thorium, and I hope to get you in the next one.